Now, you might have heard about uh, the Sahara dust storm that could be headed this way. I, I can't wait for this. We asked Chief Meteorologist Typer Shutt to explain what all this means. A dust storm originating in the African Sahara has spread across parts of the U.S. already. Now, you've got questions about it, and we've got answers from the experts. I'm here with Dr. Daniel Tong, an associate professor of atmospheric, oceanic, and earth sciences at George Mason University. Dr. Tong, welcome. Uh, first thing, I guess, is try to try to explain to the folks, because I think most of our viewers know that, you know, the, the winds blow from west to east, but it changes in the summer during hurricane season. So how does that dust get from Africa over to here? So it take a few things to get the dust here. First, you need a transport, and that's very important. Uh, in, in this case, that's just happened, that dust storm was lifted up to a very high level. And then they take a free ride of the trade wind. The trade wind is like a vehicle that bring a huge amount of dust across the ocean and come to the Central America and then make a turn and come to the United States. So true or false, in the metro, the main impact of the Saharan dust is enhanced colors for sunrise and sunsets. Actually, I took a walk on the day that when the, the Saharan dust was supposed to pass our city. We did see some very beautiful sunsets However, you are also seeing that dust can be, you know, seeding cloud formation. You can have more cloud and uh, you can have more rainfall or change the pattern of rainfall. So it's actually added to the weather system and that played out in a very complicated way. So Dr. Tong, uh, Katie wants to know, uh, does it cause dry air and does it help with hurricane season? I'm not so sure what she means with help. I guess what she means is, will there be more hurricanes or less hurricanes with the dust? Well, in general, I think uh, people think, as uh, scientists believe that uh, if you get more dust, you have less hurricane, at least uh, the intensity of hurricane will reduce. I'm no expert of hurricanes, but you know, the once the dust is loaded in the air, it's going to change the whole system. And one thing that they're going to do is going to change you know, the air density, change the cloud formation, change the radiation, and that's changing the energy balance of the Earth and the atmosphere. Dr. Tom, we really appreciate your time, George Mason University, and we'll keep an eye on the dust and keep an eye on the sunrise and sunsets. Thank you. Stay safe.